Welcome to the introductory video on the Volfix platform. In this video, we will figure out how to set up charts and consider the platform's main functionality and settings. We notice that time codes are added to the video to search the questions easily. If you did not find your question, please contact our technical support. Contacts are in the description under the video. So let's open the chart and set it up the way we want. We type in the symbol and select the tick size, time frame, and chart type. Here you can find a bar, cluster, double cluster chart, line, and box charts. Let's select a cluster chart, and in the chart calculation type field, we have charts such as tick chart, reverse, range, and so on. And click Apply. Here we opened a chart with the default settings, and let's set it up the way we need. But first, we'd like to note that to switch to the window to trading mode, activate the trading button in the Windows header. Then we select an account and a symbol and press Apply. After that, we can switch between trading and chart modes with one click. We have a separate video on the trading mode explaining how to place pending orders, set up bracket orders, and so on. The link will be in the description below the video. First, we change the background color of the chart. Go to Setup, Settings, Miscellaneous. Disable the flow buy sell histogram if we don't need it. Then we reduce the axis font size and change the chart's background color to black, and click Apply. Next, we will adjust the color of the clusters. Go to the Settings menu, and note that settings are made in different windows for different types of charts. We open the cluster box, and change the cluster profile color to gray. Next, set up the sideline which displays the direction of the bar. Let's make it thicker. If we don't need this line, we can turn it off. Let's also disable the display of the cluster's maximum volume. And click Apply. Sideline color can be changed in Setup, Settings, Bar Tick. The bar side up Bar side down and bar side flat colors are responsible for displaying the side of the bar. And then we will figure out how to configure the studies displayed by default. Setup, Studies, Bar Complete shows the degree of bar completion as a percentage. Let's disable it. Bar size shows the size of each bar in ticks. We can also disable it. Cot high low. This indicator displays the delta for each bar from when the price makes a new high and low or repeats the previous one. Next, we'll consider grids setup. By default, the chart is open with session grids. In other words, the entire session is displayed, not the day. Remember that the CME session is open from 5 p.m. to 4 p.m. Chicago time. If we need to divide the chart by day intervals, we select Day in the Time Frame field, click Edit, and the chart will be divided by days. Let's load the second day. And we see that our chart has daily grids. We can also build a profile for the selected time interval. Open the Draw Tool menu. Activate the profile and put the profile on the interval we need. If we click on the cog wheel or right click on the profile border, we will open a window with the profile settings. Here we can change the profile type, for example, on delta or trades. The extend right parameter allows one to continue building the profile including all new emerging bars to the right of the second coordinate. We can change the transparency of the profile 
and below we can turn off the vertical histogram that displays the cumulative volume for the chosen interval. Here we can activate the VVAP line for the selected time interval. If we save these settings as default, all subsequent profiles will be built with the same settings. We can put any number of such profiles on any chart interval. Next, figure out how to set up a horizontal histogram. In the Volfix platform, up to six histograms can be placed on one chart simultaneously. Suppose we want to display a volume histogram for the current trading session, delta histogram for the current trading session, and a volume histogram for the current week. Select the week time frame and enable it. On the left, we see our three histograms, but they are not displayed in the best way so that we can display them each on their own axis. Activate the self area option in each histogram. And here you have each histogram on a separate axis. Next, let's look at the histogram settings. In the type field, we can select the type of histogram. Then we can change the size of the histogram. High, low, ray. These are the rays that display histograms high and low. Max volume ray shows the ray of the POC price. Max volume only is an option that allows you to display only the POC price. And then there are the settings of value area or TPO. Let's set it up so that the value area is shown in blue and the out of TPO area is gray. And we will do the same with the weekly histogram. Additionally, we can add the second value area, TPO2, for instance, for 30%. Next, let's move on to the vertical histogram. We can place up to seven vertical histograms on one chart simultaneously. Here we have both line histograms and regular ones. Let's assume we only need a volume histogram. So we turn off the cumulative delta histogram and the delta histogram. In the type field, we can select the type of histogram. Here we also can adjust histogram size. Note that we have a separate video on the histogram setup. It has already been released or will be released soon. You can check the link below the video. Let's return to the studies menu. The next one is the time frame 2 settings. We can activate time frame 2 on the control panel by selecting the desired interval, for example, 4 hours. In the time frame 2 settings, we can adjust the profile settings. Using TPO cluster, we can set up value areas separately for each bar. Next, you can find the TWAP setup. Unfinished auction. We have a separate article on this indicator. The link is below the video. Volume fixing. Note that in the Volfix platform, volume fixing limits can be applied to the box chart, cluster profile chart, bar, and line charts. Let's consider setting the volume fixing limit as an example. We select 30 minutes interval, select a value, a color, then click New, and we see on the chart that we have added the volume fixing limit. And finally, we have the VVAP line setup. Next, let's figure out how to set up volume limits. Go to Menu, Setup, Limit, Volume, and enter the value. The Max Volume Only option allows us to filter only the maximum value of each bar. You can also set up limits for down bars and up bars separately. Then select Font Color, Cluster Background Color, and Cluster Border Color. We can also specify the limit's working time. Draw size allows highlighting clusters for better visualization. Let's set the value to 10. Alert is the sound signal when the volume is found. Repeat the sound signal until we turn it off manually. 
Send is the activation of sending push notifications to the Volfix mobile app, and Sound is the option to upload your sound files. Having specified all the necessary settings, click New, and here we see our limits on the chart. To adjust an already set limit, we select it, change the value, and click Edit. If we want to add a new limit, we enter the values we are looking for, change the color, and press New. After we have set up our chart, if we want to open a second chart with the same settings, we can use the Clone Window function, Set Up, Clone Window. The chart will open exactly with the same settings as the first one. Let's change the symbol and set up our workspace. After we set up the workspace, go to the Market Watch window and save the layout. Separately, we want to mention the independent mode of the window. If we need two windows with the same symbol but with different limits set up or lines, then we activate the independent mode in one of the windows. And then we can experiment with the limits configuration. The Market Replay mode is a futures and stocks trading simulation tool for gaining experience and training. We have a separate video on Market Replay. The link can be found in the description. Next, let's go to the Market Watch window. You can connect a live account in the Setup Connections menu. In the Component section, we can find the statement. We open the Equity tab, select the account and time interval, and click Apply. Here you can see the trading statistics. We can manage our open positions and working orders in the Position Control window. In the Accounts tab, we can specify certain settings for our accounts. Double clicking on the account opens a window with the settings for this account. Here we can make the account public in the trader's rating, set the account alias, which will be visible only to the user in the trading window, and the role of the account, master or slave. The master slave tool allows you to duplicate trades from one account to others. There is also a video for the master slave tool. The link will be in the description under the video. And here you can also change the balance of test accounts. Select an account, click Account Size, enter the amount. That's all we have for now. If you have questions about the Volfix platform, don't hesitate to get in touch with our technical support. We will always be happy to help. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.